Hello, thanks for joining me again today. My name is Rob Wagoner, and today we want to talk about the Forefront Servers for Protection. What we're going to talk about is the Forefront Threat Management Gateway, the Forefront Unified Access Gateway, and then we were going to talk about the Forefront Endpoint Protection Solution. But the Forefront Endpoint Protection Solution has now moved into the System Center Solution. So now it's System Center 2012 Endpoint Protection and I'll still spend a few minutes talking about that. But as we start with Forefront Threat Management Gateway, we're talking about the firewall for your network. It gives our corporate users the ability to gain access to the internet through our proxy engine and experience a malware inspection filter on inbound content coming back from the internet. So this way, we can now protect our users again in that defense in depth process where we put protection on their desktop and protection at the firewall, not only to prevent malicious people from coming in, but prevent your users from accidentally bringing malicious software into your environment as well. We can set these inspection rules very granularly. Per group of people, we could omit a group of people. We could restrict specific URLs for again, the whole organization, or for a specific portion of the organization. We also, as I mentioned, have the ability to filter our URLs. So this gives us the ability to real-time filter where our users are going, and it's backed by the Microsoft Repudiation Service, which means as other sites are blacklisted or whitelisted, we have the ability to leverage that. Your users have the ability to experience that filtering so that if a new site shows up as soon as it becomes blacklisted we're there helping protect your environment as well and then as I also talked about how does it protect inbound threats somebody coming from the internet trying to attack your environment threat management gateway has the whole process of how we identify threats update our signatures and then release our signatures so that now we close that gap on these vulnerabilities as quickly as possible. A lot of companies require the use of HTTPS for their websites, but traditionally the exposure has been that when a user from your environment uses an HTTPS connection, you can't see what they're doing and you can't protect what they're downloading. Forefront Threat Management Gateway gives us the ability to actually break that HTTPS connection so that we can do that validation on that data going back and forth. HTTPS inspection gives us the ability to inspect, review the contents of HTTPS connections so that if users are surfing to sites on the internet just because it's an HTTPS connection, it could still be downloading malicious software. We can still inspect and protect the user from that. And we've talked about Threat Management Gateway again as the firewall. Its primary goal is to prevent inbound attacks the Unified Access Gateway is our tool that gives us seamless access to our internal corporate resources to our external users. So think about people who want to work from home or an employee's managed machine or even a home PC. How could we now give those people access to corporate data safely and securely? What about those old applications that were never built to be internet aware? How can we still give the user the capability of accessing those type of applications via a web browser even when the application is completely unaware, not even built to handle something like that. Forefront Unified Access Gateway can let us do that. It's a great way to set up and manage our direct access capabilities as well as our level 3 VPN capabilities, HTTPS type VPNs. So the great thing is, is we could take a non-web enabled application and actually publish it through Unified Access Gateway so your end users experience that application from a secure sockets browser experience. One of the great things about Unified Access Gateway is this endpoint health assessment. So really what it lets us do is take non-corporate managed devices and allow them to connect to corporate solutions if you choose to enable that. But before we enable that connection, we have the ability to interrogate those endpoints to make sure they're secure. We can set policies that'll do things like if that endpoint doesn't have an antivirus installed, if that endpoint has any malicious software we can identify, because again, we get to interrogate that endpoint before we establish this connection. So keylogger, screen scrapers, we could identify those or at least make sure they have up-to-date malicious software protection. And this gives us the ability to now inspect these unmanaged or uncontrolled machines to make sure that if they're safe, we can let our users access our information. If we can't determine whether they're safe or not, we can block that access. 
This gives our users the mobility they're looking for without us creating additional risk in these unmanaged, non-compliant machines accessing our data. So we've talked about the firewall. Unified Access Gateway is our publisher. Now let's talk about how we can protect our endpoints. That's with the new System Center 2012 Endpoint Protection. And as I've already mentioned, we moved Endpoint Protection into the System Center product offering now because System Center Configuration Manager is our deployment and management tool for Endpoint Protection. It just made sense. So when we look at what does Endpoint Protection in System Center 2012 bring us, we talk about a unified infrastructure where we've dramatically simplified the way we configure, deploy, and manage all of our endpoints with System Center Endpoint Protection. We talk about this enhanced protection. Protect from known exploits as well as protect from the unknown. How can we now monitor behaviors at the application and network levels to make sure that if we're seeing malicious activity, even if we can't say, yes, we know it's that piece of malware, we can block that application until we identify, is it safe or not? And then we have to continue to simplify administration. Our administrators are asked to do more and more every day, and we have to make sure we make it easy for them to do it. So with System Center 2012 Endpoint Protection, we really made the server setup easy. The client setup is drastically simplified over what it was in Forefront Endpoint Protection. And then we've made it very easy to automate these deployments using the Configuration Manager infrastructure. So we look at the unified server setup. Again, very simple and straightforward. And with the new System Center Unified Installer, it takes all the complexity out of it. The great part about this installation process is not only can it set up these new endpoints to protect them, it can also remove other anti-malware products before it installs the System Center Endpoint Protection Solution. As we look at how we manage our updates, we give you multiple paths to manage your endpoints and to send out your updates. Traditionally, your clients will be able to access your internal infrastructure server to send out these updates. But for your mobile users, we have to make sure if they, for some reason, can't get access to your infrastructure, that we keep them protected. And that's why our mobile users have the ability to fall back into the Microsoft Update solution to do their updates if they can't access your corporate resources. But if we can't get those updates and signatures out, they still need to remain updated, and so they'll fall back to Microsoft Update. Endpoint protection around this enhanced protection gives us this protection stack built on the Windows security stack while reducing this complexity even around unknown threats. So I love this view of the protection stack because it shows how endpoint protection with Windows 7 completely protects your environment end to end. We provide the vulnerability shielding. We provide a centralized firewall management solution with endpoint protection to protect our applications and data when they're on our client machines. From our user's perspective, a very simple high-level user interface to make it very easy for them to schedule protection or modify their protection. Now, as the administrator, we have the ability to set policy around this. And then when we talk about the administration of endpoint protection, single client management interface with simple policy and best practice templates. So what we've done is made it very easy to leverage existing templates or build a template that can be applied to different parts of your organization or your organization as a whole. And then continue to push deeper into the alerting and reporting capabilities with an endpoint protection. So I quickly want to show you just some of the user interfaces here. Again, a, a very simple single dashboard view in Configuration Manager that shows us where we stand with our endpoint protection. The templates, I'd mentioned these earlier. How can I set up a standard corporate template? Here's what all of my protection is going to look like in this template. Client monitoring security, again, we need to be able to see what's going on real time. And the other great thing is if something does occur real time, we use high-speed data channels, notification of these events in real time. From a reporting perspective, continue to grow in our reporting space. We're using the SQL reporting services, so all of the capabilities that we continue to enhance in SQL reporting are available to the System Center Endpoint Protection Solution as well. So I like this slide because it, it really boils down what's the difference between Forefront Endpoint Protection 2010 and System Center 2012 Endpoint Protection. We've unified the infrastructure now on the System Center 2012 platform. The server setup, the client deployments, 
greatly simplified. Signature updates now give us multiple sources and we can set deployment rules. Role-based administration, it wasn't there. The real-time alerts, when a new threat hits, we need to be able to quickly figure out what it is and respond to it. And the reporting, we continue to enhance our reporting and we've given you additional user-centric reports as well as made it easier to generate your own reporting and your own statistics. That's all I have today. I hope this has helped and I hope you have a good day.